Hello chess lovers, I have a fantastic game for you played by the second world chess champion Emmanuel Lasker. His opponent is Johann Hermann Bauer and the game was played in 1889 in Amsterdam. Lasker started with f4, bird opening, d5, e3, knight f6, b3, e6, bishop b2 and bishop e7, placing the bishop on d6 and then playing c6, queen c7, knight d7 and preparing e5 is of course a better idea. But we see bishop e7 in the game, now comes bishop d3, b6, knight c3, bishop b7, knight f3, knight d7, we see castling by both sides, knight e2, c5, knight g3, queen c7, knight e5, imagine this bishop were on d6, of course, in that case, knight e5 would have been not possible. We see knight takes e5 by black, bishop takes e5, queen c6, queen e2, a6 and knight h5. Of course, playing at once knight h5 instead of queen e2 was also possible. Now, white has a very dangerous threat. If we move like d4, then white can go for this beautiful knight takes g7 sacrifice. If king takes g7 then queen g4 check using the fact that this knight on f6 is pinned. If king h8 then queen h3 both protecting this g2 square and also threatening queen takes h7 checkmate. If queen takes g2 check then queen takes g2 and in the end of the day this position is of course good for white. White has this strong bishop pair and also this king on h8 is somehow misplaced. Look at this unpleasant pin. Let's go back after knight h5 overlooking white's next threat black captured on h5. Now you can pause the video and try to find a brilliant combination by Emmanuel Lasker. Ready? Lasker went for bishop takes h7 check, king takes h7, queen takes h5 check, king g8 and bishop takes g7. Now the threat is queen h8 checkmate. Black accepted the sacrifice and queen g4 check. King h7, rook f3. The threat is rook h3 check. e5, rook h3 check and black is forced to give up his queen. Rook takes h6 check, king takes h6. Now black has two bishop pair and a rook against the queen. But it turns out that white also has this queen d7 move and black is also losing one of his bishops. Bishop f6, queen takes b7, king g7, rook f1, rook a b8, queen d7, rook d8, queen g4 check, king f8, f takes e5, well black's position is just hopeless but black played a few more moves. f6, and now comes another beautiful move by Lasker. Can you find his next move? He played rook takes f6 check. Bishop takes f6. Queen takes f6 check. King e8. Queen h8 check. King e7. Queen g7 check. King takes e6. Queen takes b7. Rook d6. Queen takes a6. White is simply grabbing all black pawns. C takes d4. h4. d3. Queen takes d3 and black resigned. A very beautiful game by Emmanuel Lasker. That was very impressive how he sacrificed both his bishops. Your comments and questions please and thanks for watching. Good luck.